Welcome back to the All Things Basketball Podcast. I'm your host, Faith Lopez, as always. Next up for the video series is the Los Angeles Lakers, their offseason moves, and what I think about them. Let's get right into it. My takeaway from this offseason for the Lakers is retention and addition, starting with basically a quote by Rob Palenka saying that he wanted to keep the core together. He actually stayed true to his word, bringing back D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, and Rui Hachimura. Hachimura returns on a three-year deal. Definitely one of those players that shined. A lot of Washington Wizards fans were <laughs> actively just very publicly surprised by some of the great moments that Rui Hachimura had for the Lakers. Um, had some bad moments as well, but for the most part, really showed up in big moments. Austin Reeves, obviously that was a surprise by a lot of people seeing what the Lakers were able to sign him for. A lot of people thought he was gonna just, you know, sign for way more money than what he did. Obviously the Lakers bring him back. Each of these guys played major roles in helping turn around an awful looking season. But I suspect that D'Angelo Russell will probably be moved during the season to fill a need that the team could probably discover down the road. That's something that not just I'm thinking, but obviously I've heard that from other people. And I wasn't sure they were going to handle Russell. I was like, boy, they cannot afford to sign Russell to a contract they can't trade. They can trade that contract. They could trade that contract on December 15th. I believe so that goes those three moves were obviously the retention moves right guys that they kept so obviously keeping that chemistry together which is very important I want to start with the first addition on my list Jackson Hayes agrees to a two-year deal he brings much needed size and athleticism at center for the Lakers who looked vulnerable without Anthony Davis on the floor protecting the rim Darvin Ham loves his multiple guard lineups which are fine because of the good size from the guards on this team but having an additional athletic big could make for some interesting short bursts of double big lineups since obviously jackson hayes and anthony davis are very mobile with the size they have torian prince agreed to a one-year deal he is obviously a veteran a wing player that can play multiple positions play in different lineups the biggest thing the Lakers are going to need from Torian Prince is his three-point shooting. Not necessarily an elite three-point shooter. Not one of the guys you're going to probably name when you're naming three-point shooters in the league. But definitely one of those guys that is already probably going to be one of the better shooters on this team. And he's just going to bring, obviously, his size, right? But it's just another floor spacer, right? To help a team that ranked 25th in three-point percentage, right? Up next here is Cam Reddish who agreed to a two-year deal, another sizable wing, 6'7", right? Still young, 23 years old, lots of untapped potential, hasn't really found a home for many reasons, both partly outside of his control uh, in terms of just playing for lots of different coaches, different lineups in such short time, but also partly because of his inconsistent offensive performances and some questioning his will to defend. This kid should not be given up on especially this early in his career and having the skill set we know he possesses right lakers need guys that can create for themselves and cam reddish was a known bucket before entering the league and he's also shown flashes of it in the nba so if cam figures it out the lakers without a doubt stole another gem here and speaking of gems gabe vincent agrees to a three-year deal one of the greatest underdog stories in NBA history was brought to us by the Miami Heat. Just last season, they didn't have the happy ending Heat fans thought that they were going to get, but a big part of that story was Gabe Vincent. Time and time again, showing up big time in crunch time, tough shot making, plays hard on defense, getting to the rim. That was a tough loss for Miami, right? Great pickup for the Lakers who need players that can not only score for themselves, but also hold their own defensively. He's exactly the type of guard that will thrive off of playing alongside Anthony Davis and LeBron who demand all the attention from opposing defenses. Summary for the Lakers, they kept their core minus Dennis Schroeder, right? Holding on to that chemistry. They added spacing, right? With more three-point shooting. They brought athleticism and rim protection to help cover for Anthony Davis when he's off the floor. They also added some shot creation, 
obviously from players that can get buckets for themselves, not just relying on catch and shoot opportunities. Uh, they've also added depth along with positional versatility, which is very important in today's NBA. The questions that remain for these Lakers, Anthony Davis, right? The health issue is exhausting, but even when he has been healthy, he's been insanely inconsistent at times. And that's another problem. LeBron is in year 21. And with more injuries piling up here and there, the health concern is question number one for him. He's also been really a shot chucker in attempts to conserve some energy through long stretches in games. No matter what negative opinions people have of LeBron though, he's still undeniably one of the best players in the league, putting up ridiculous numbers at his age. However, last season showed us that he definitely needs more help than ever before to get over the top. This league is incredibly deep. There's a ton of talent all over the place now. And gone are the days of signing specialists around LeBron in hopes that he can just dominate and push your team through to a title. Versatility is the name of the game these days. Will this group be enough to help push the Lakers over the top? Only time will tell. This is the All Things Basketball Podcast. I'm your host, Vic Lopez, as always. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.